All right, folks, here we go, right out of the gate, 106 pounds. You are looking at two of the top guys in the country. If you've been under a rock, you don't know who Tyler Warner and Justin Mejia are because they are good. Warner, you're defending state champion in Division II in Ohio at 106 pounds. Ironman champion. I think this guy's won everything he's been in. Uh, he's too legit to quit. He'll be taking on Justin Mejia, the freshman in the gold for Clovis. Tyler Warner gonna be rocking. And here we go. Tyler Warner, Justin Mejia, the freshman from Clovis. Clovis in the gold. The patented Claymont pinstripes of Eurexville, Ohio. And Warner got a major decision in the finals. There's a shot by Mejia in the finals of the Ironman this year. And there's a shot by Warner. Warner is an absolute shark and on top. Front headlock there by Mejia. He's looking to go behind. And Mejia doing a nice job keeping that hand low. There's an eye poke. I call it a potentially dangerous. Eye pokes happen. This is wrestling. It's a physical sport. A half shot by Warner. Mejia trying to be the giant killer here. To trying to defeat one of the nation's best in Tyler Warner. Right now they're just hand fighting here. Wrist tie by Warner. Left wrist. Collar tie with his right hand. Over tie. We're going to get a break. Off the restart. 39.7 seconds left in the first period. No score. Warner and Mejia. There's a nice low shot. He caught it. And Mejia looks like he's going to get back. He's going to try and spin, go behind. He drops down. And now Mejia has Warner hopping. Warner fighting hands. Mejia's trying to dig the foot out. Two takedown. Mejia. Mejia up 2-0. 21.3 seconds left in the first period. He's looking tough. And we're getting some blood cleaned up here. Maybe, no, what is that, a contact? No, it's blood. So, Warner up to his feet. He goes for a switch. And Mejia catches a claw. He could be looking for near falls here. And there's the swipes. He's getting swipes. Mejia. Getting the near fall, they're holding two right now. And Mejia's gonna take a 4-0 lead into the second period. Two highly ranked guys in the country. Mejia up 4-0 right now on Tyler Warner. Warner's choice going down, down 4-0. There is blood time on Mejia. It's on his mouthpiece. His mouth is bleeding. So Warner will be down to start the second. Clovis looking to build and pile on their lead here. It looks like Jenniton's in for third and fourth over there. So, and it looks like he's got an opportunity to put more points on the board for Maslin Perry. He's trying to get a takedown right now next door. And they get him cleaned up. 
and Mejia is going to start with his 4-0 lead on top in the second period. Warner up to his feet right away. Mejia, nice hard mat return. Mejia right boot in. And I will take Mejia, Justin Mejia, on my squad any day of the week. He is good. Riding with that right boot in. Now he's got the leg grape. Now he goes figure four on it. They're going to call stalemate. And 134 on the clock up there on the board. 4-0 lead. Warner is in a hole right now. He tripods up to, he's up to his feet now. Mejia doing a great job of riding tough. There's the switch attempt. Mejia doing a great job of returning him to the mat every time he's got to his feet. There's a stall warning on Mejia. And the switches are not working against Mejia. He's got answers for all of them. And Warner trying to come up to his feet. Clovis is Mejia doing a nice job out to the side. Deep waist. Now he's going to cut him loose. He has been warned for stalling once. And Warner clubbing him. Trying to go at him, but he is doing a nice job. Saying, hey, what's up with the hands of the face? Ask the official. He is doing a nice job of keeping his hands low, not letting Warner get on the low shots. And there's an overtie shuck. Warner goes at him. And blood time, Mejia, 43.7 seconds left. He's got a 4-1 lead on Tyler Warner. And what's the score over there with Jenatin? Jenatin is losing two one. So Masson Perry needs some points over there. I don't know if, don't know if they're going to get them. Tied over there, actually. So now here we go back to action. 43 seconds left. Second period. Take down from Mejia would ice this thing. All but ice it. I don't know because Warner's pretty good on top. Justin Mejia. Thank you. Eighteen seconds. Warner has had him hit for stalling, but Mejia doing all the work right now. Clovis staff yelling, "Hard work, hard work." Steve Terrapale over there in the corner. Hands to the face. They're going to give a point to Mejia, and now it's going to be Mejia five-one with five point two seconds left in the second period. So Warner takes a shot. Mejia is just going to lock up and still made it and run the timeout. Time. I don't know why. And Steve Terrapelli is going to say neutral. And they are going to go neutral. Justin Mejia says neutral. It's 5-1. Mejia has been warned. But will Warner be able to come back? Kent Mejia can put on the... Uh, oh, now he's got double underhooks. And now there's hands to the face. And that's going to be a point for Warner. So it's 5-2. Things are getting interesting here. 152 left in the third period. Mejia's got to get a takedown here and ice this thing. Warner's got to come back and try and get the get the W or steal it. Try and get the flip of the week. For those of you who don't know, that's the comeback of the week. Right now it's 5-2. Mejia driver's seat. Justin Mejia, Clovis, California. Steve and Adam Terrapelli, the head coach. I want to say co-head coaches. I have to ask them that when I interview them later. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what's happening right now. The officials are conversating. Clovis coaches are on the mat. Claymont coaches are on the mat. I don't know what's happening right now. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're talking about. 
Snodder heading back. Oh, man. Steve Terrapelli, you have a Bobby Douglas fanny pack, and I just noticed it. Warner steps into him hard. Warner jacks up underhook. Mejia doing a nice job getting his hips back. There's a little knee tap attempt. Now Warner's pushing. There's a shot. It was deep. But Mejia's doing a good, good job of getting his hips up. Go behind his up two. Takedown. Justin Mejia. And they confirm it. 133 left in the third period. 7-2. Mejia's got to run some time off here. He's got to put the clamps down. If he can burn some time on top here. I think that's going to be just about do it because this guy is hard to score on. He's tougher than nails. And now, nice job right there by dropping down by Mejia. Warner. 123 to jump back in this thing. He needs a reversal of backs, obviously. So... And there, the crowd is lobbying for a stall call. And he cuts him loose, 7-3. Warner needs a takedown with backs. Once again, Mejia, if he just gets a takedown. Oh, wow, he is trying to pull him back in. Mejia trying to get out of it. And, that, and no stall call. Wow, that was kind of textbook stalling. So consistency, definitely an issue today from what I've seen. When a guy's blatantly trying to get out of a hold like that, that is stalling. When you were evading action, that would be a stall call. It may be a textbook stall call. And now Warner's going desperation mode here. 37 seconds. Mejia can get another takedown easy because Warner's basically standing up trying to go Greco. There's a nice swing single. That's going to ice this thing. He's just got to reach across. He's got to watch getting splayed up, though. Wow, that was a really quick, uh, really quick stalemate. So Mejia's done a great job of avoiding the stall call. And Justin Mejia's going to get a title here for Clovis. 15 seconds left. Mejia can starfish out on the mat. 7-5 now, it's not going to matter. And Justin Mejia going to put Clovis off to a great start and a te towards a team title. And the trip from the Central Valley looks like it's going well to start out here in this final. Justin Mejia, your champ at 106 pounds, knocks off one of the top guys in the country, Tyler Warner.